Hello everyone and welcome to chapter 9, the final chapter of Professor Layton and the Curious Village. So let's see our story so far. Leighton exposes Don Paolo, the evil scientist who is posing as Inspector Chalmy. His disguise now gone, Don Paolo escapes from the manor, leaving only his latex mask behind. Having outed the fiend who tried to take their lives, Luke and Leighton set out to explore the tower. Okay. Um... Let's look for coins first. Okay, nope. Oh, we got a coin. Uh, I kind of feel like the coins are fewer and far between now. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Yep, it looks like you've solved at least 75 puzzles. Alright then, go on in the tower. This place gives me the creeps. Plus, it's all murky in here. I can't see a thi- Hmm. Oh my. Ah! Uh, my head. Luke, are you alright, my boy? No injuries, I hope. Don't worry, Professor, I'm fine. And yourself? Nothing a good long bath later won't solve. More importantly, where are we? <laughs> this room is stuffed to the gills with curious machines. I've never seen anything like them. What do you suppose they do? What in the world? Look over there on the wall, Professor. My word! There are views from all over town displayed here. Don't they look like blueprints? And what's this? And what's... Oh, almost every villager's name is on the wall. Professor, what if somebody is using this place to keep an eye on what's going on at St. Mysterio. Hmm. Look, there are some st there are stairs over there. Let's get out of here. This place gives me goosebumps. But say it looks Simon's is missing his key and it's all like dark. Yes, you're quite right, Luke. Let's head out. Looking for coins, looking for coins. Oh, what did we get here? Oh, what's this notebook? Did you find something interesting? I think so. This notebook looks like someone's been using it as a diary. Just a little longer. Soon this village will complete the task it was designed for. I've waited so long for this day. But as it comes closer, I feel a little lonely. I hope that, at the very least, the young mistress finally finds happiness at the end of all this. This poor journal looks like it's been through a lot. All the pages are terribly frayed. I bet all the scraps of paper we found in the village came from here. No, okay. Alright, up the floor we go. What's this? You. Ugh. You two again. What are you doing here? What are you up to? Just a moment, sir. What are you talking about? I knew it. You came here to steal my secrets, didn't you? Didn't you? Don't play dumb with me. I see you right through. Don't think I have been watching. 
I've seen you two sniffing about every nook and cranny in town, getting in the way of my work. Now I've had it, so unless you want trouble, give me back number 38. Please calm yourself, sir. Just listen to what we have to say for a moment. We haven't intended to get in the way of your work. We are merely searching for the golden apple. Neither of us knows anything about this number 38 business. Oh. Did you just say the golden apple? You're really here looking for the golden apple then? Precisely. Oh. Just a second. Yeah. Do you know anything that could be of help to us? Hmm. So that's how it is, hey? What are you... What you're looking for is on the top floor of the tower. But watch out, because the puzzles in this tower are harder than a whole mess of diamond tip drills. I know they call you a puzzle master, but are you sure you have what it takes to solve them? Now, why would you go and tell us something like that? I bet you just want to set us up to walk, into, uh, walk right into some sort of trap. Hmm. <laughs> What would I possibly gain from doing something like that? Not to mention it's my duty to guide those who seek the golden apple towards their goal. Some mischief maker snuck into the village and had me all confused, but I think I've figured things out now. Seeing as how it's your duty and all, would you mind filling us in? What is St. Mysterious' big secret? Alright. The name is Bruno. I work for the Reinhold family. For some time now, I've managed St. Mystia from up here in the tower. Manage St. Mystia? You're the one who manages the life of each of the villagers, aren't you? What in the world are you two talking about? Surely you must have seen them too, Luke. Do you recall the cogs we found about the village and saw the list of names we saw in that room? All the villagers in St. Mysteria are robots created by Bruno. What do you mean the villagers are all robots? In other words, the inhabitants of St. Mysteria are human, but intricately constructed machines. They're robots, my boy. I have to say, I'm astonished that anyone could build such elaborate machines in these day and age. You must be quite the engineer, sir. Ho ho, aren't you the sharp one? I never imagined you'd figure out so much of the mystery you're by yourself. What do you mean, sir? St. Mysteria isn't a real town, Luke. It was constructed by Bruno and the late Baron. How am I doing so far, Bruno? Um, you're right on the money. Must have believed that one day, an heir worthy of his fortune would come forward. He had me build the city and all who dwell within it to prepare, prepare for that day. Then he hid his, his greatest treasure, the golden apple, away on the top floor of this tower. I was ordered to protect it with my life. Until the person arrives who can solve the puzzle of the golden apple, I will continue to protect it. Remarkable. I'm impressed at how far Baron Reinhold went to protect his treasure. It's not just any treasure, mind you. The golden apple is the Baron's most precious treasure. But why go through all this just to hide treasure? Why build an entire village to protect it? Whoops, seems I've been a little loose-lipped here. I've already said more than I should have. The answers you, you're looking for are waiting for you at the top of the tower. Go on then, show me if you're the one who can solve the puzzle of the golden apple. Oh, look at that, we solved some more. We solved some more. Professor, look, the stairs are barred off. Aha, uh -huh, this must be one of the puzzles Bruno warned us about. It does look quite difficult. This is perfect timing, my boy. I'm in the mood for a puzzle with some meat to it. I think I am too. I'll get the ball out. Yeah, we can do this. This perplexing door has a device on it that contains a small red ball in the upper left corner. If you guide the ball to the hole in the lower right, it looks like the door might open. Slide the blocks out of the way and move the ball to the hole 
The shortest possible route involves 21 moves. Okay. Um, okay, that one was supposed to go together and it just wasn't going. It's going to take me a few more, but there we go. 23. Here's my guess. Correct. I've solved it. Well done. Were you able to get the ball in the hole without shuffling too much back and forth? If you had to move the ball lots of times to reach a goal, don't worry. Figuring out how to get to the goal in the fewest moves possible is an interesting puzzle in itself. There we are. Come on, Luke. We must press on. All right. Lead the way, Professor. Say, so, Professor, there's something that's been on my mind for a while. Oh, what is it, Luke? When the crank for the bridge was stolen, we were sealed in the village along with Don Paolo. Don Paolo. It could just be me, but I feel like this wasn't just a coincidence. Somebody planned it, but who? Ha ha ha. Well, Luke, I don't have any direct evidence of it, but I'd wager that I'd wager that it was Bruno's doing. Bruno? But why in the world would Bruno do something like that? Do you remember what he said? His duty to show the way to those who seek the golden apple. But naturally, Bruno had no idea what kind of people would come to St. Mysteria seeking that treasure. It's likely he trapped us in the village to buy himself some time to evaluate who we were. He wanted to see if we were worthy of the secret. That's terribly presumptuous of him, don't you think? How could you think either of us were bad people? He doesn't even know us. <laughs> who knows how Bruno saw it, Luke? I'm certain he was just being careful. After all, Don Paolo managed to sneak in with us. Bruno probably had his hands full and needed time to see what kind of people had entered the village. Oh, that reminds me. I wanted to ask about that too. Luke, we really should get started here. You can ask me your next question while we're climbing. Ah, there's another one solved. <gasps> I got a coin. Okay, let's uh, do stairs. Um, there's a puzzle there. Um, okay, I think it's just one per So Let's, um, go there. It's the next puzzle already. Ah, oh, not another lock door. Whoever built this tower must enjoy watching people suffer. Well, my boy, are you just going to stand there and complain about it? No. Leave this puzzle to me. <sighs> okay. You need to solve this magic square in order to proceed. A magic square is a set of numbers organized in a square so that adding any strict string of three numbers, be their horizontal, vertical, or diagonal, results in the same to total. One and two have already been placed on the square for you. Complete the rest of the square to open the lock. Okay, well obviously 5 goes in the middle, 9 goes there, 8 goes there, we've got 15s. Um, so 6, 4 has to go there, 
six is there, and eight, no, I'm putting the three there, and the seven there. Uh, uh huh. Well, here's my guess. I love those puzzles. Excellent. Any three numbers are land horizontally, vertically, or diagonally should add up to 15. Magic squares have been around for thousands of years. The earliest record of a magic square dates back to 650 BC in ancient China. I got it. The door's open now. Good show, Luke. So, what was it that you were asking me earlier? I'm all ears now. I wanted to know when Don Paolo snuck his way into the village. It seems like he followed us here. The only way in a St. Mysterious to the drawbridge. Plus, I doubt Franco will let in such an obviously evil character as Don Paolo. Yes, to be honest, I still haven't quite figured out how Don Paolo entered St. Mysterious myself. But it seems that after he made his way in, he tried to stay at Beatrice's inn. So that was the man who skipped out on his bill? It figures it was Don Paolo. So that weasel did himself up to look like Inspector Chalmy, snuck into the mansion and hold on, when did he kill Simon? We'll get to that in a moment. We must keep climbing. Come along. I kind of feel like I've missed some puzzles. Saying Naimodogo, I'm not sure we've got that many more. Hey, look, there's someone that's up here. Um, there we go, we found the Hint Queen. He must have the puzzle. Ah, Konnichiwa, amigos. I'm so glad to see other people. I uh, thought I'd be wandering this place forever. Hey, how did you get in here? There's no way you solved all these puzzles. Genesis Pos, it just happened. Un momento, I was wandering the sewers. The next thing I know, I'm here. I take it this isn't the local hotspot my guidebook promised it would be. How curious. So, where is it you'd like to go? If you go down these stairs, you can return to the village proper. Just make sure you don't fall into the large hole by the entrance. Ah, that should be enough information to get me there. But may I ask one more favour? All this talk of stairs has reminded me of a not so pos of a not so I know. Answer it for me, por favor. Take the stairs. Okay, you have a business on the 8th floor of a 10 story building. It took you 48 seconds to make your way from the 1st to the 4th floor. If you keep moving at the same speed, how long will it take you to reach the 8th floor from the 4th floor? Okay, so if we go, um, okay, first floor to four is one, two, three, first, second, third, fourth, four floors. If we go from fourth to eight, that's four, five, six, seven, eight, that's five. Okay, so, how am I doing this? No, there are three flights of stairs between first and fourth. Um, so that's 16 seconds of floor. And 16, that would be 64. Okay. 
60. Oh, I raise 64. That should do it. Yay! Another puzzle solved. You're right, going from the first to the floor, fourth floor means you climb a total of three flights of stairs. Going from the fourth to the eighth floor means you'll have to go up to an additional four flights of stairs. Grazie, now I'm ready to go back to the village. What a strange fellow. Professor, do you suppose that man is human? I believe so. He's an odd one though, isn't he? I've never seen an explorer with such a poor sense of direction. Stranger still is how we entered St. Mysterio. I don't think he even knows how he did it. Perhaps his presence yesterday was another reason why Bruno felt compelled to hide the crank. Um. Ooh, we're going up another floor. Yay, I found the hint coin. I wonder how many floors there are. It seems that we're faced with another puzzle lock, Luke. Oh, I meant to ask you, but our run-in with that explorer distracted me. How did Simon... You know. All in good time, my boy. First we need to solve this puzzle here. It looks like quite the challenge. Tired of leading a sheltered life, the princess is trying to escape her castle. Um. Armed guards, however, are blocking her path. Slide the blocks out of the way to move the red one out to the exit to the right. Her freedom depends on you. Can you do it? This is tricky. messed up. I'm just going to pause for a second. Right, sorry about that. I had a um, alarm on and forgot to turn it off because I woke up early. Okay. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing by the way. It's not going to work, is it? I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get it to work. Um. 
Okay, no, no, I've messed up there somehow. Okay, um... Maybe that shouldn't have gone there. I keep feeling like that's a way to bring it through, you know? Um, but that doesn't really help here. Pity we can't take that out, hey? Done something. Okay, maybe not like that. do something about getting the blue down um, and that blue up but that is still uh, off unless this is actually working um, I kind of feel like that was a lot of moves, but I got it through. I did Another it. Puzzle solved. Okay. Wonderful. This is a classic example of a sliding puzzle. There we are. The door should open now. Amazing as always, Professor. Now, what about Simon? Uh, what exactly happened in the mansion? Did Don Paolo really murder um, make off with Simon? I'd say so. This is just my theory, mind you. But I don't think Don Paolo followed us into the manor. That's when he met Simon, or came across him, as the case may be. I suspect Simon had already collapsed when Don Paolo found his body sprawled on the floor. Just like with Ramon. So maybe Simon had also stopped functioning properly, huh? I guess all the robots break down sooner or later, and when they do, Bruno comes to collect them. Then he fixes them here in the basement of the tower. Oh, do you suppose the noises from the tower are actually the sounds from Bruno's machines working? I think you're spot on, Luke. 
That must be why people began to associate the disappearances with the roaring from the tower. Don't forget that despite his peculiar appearance, Don Paolo is a scientific genius. Therefore, he probably realized why Simon had stopped moving. If it weren't for the golden apple, Don Paolo likely would have left St. Mysterio right then. I'm sure he was eager to take the robot apart and learn how it worked. And that must be when he decided to disguise himself as Inspector Chalmit, right? That, ra that rat made up the whole murder story on the spot. But that's not the whole mystery, Luke. We must keep moving. I'll explain the rest as we go. Rumbling Tower, Ramon. Just those two? We still have three more to go. Like, we've, you know, this week and last week, we've done, what, seven. Okay. Next four. <laughs> what, what's she doing up here? Oh. That doggo helped us. Okay. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here, dearie. How'd you like to try a little puzzle I made up? How on earth did she get up here? Hmm, she must have overtaken us at some point. Funny, I didn't even see the old girl passes. <laughs> Quit whispering amongst yourselves and try out my puzzle already. It's a humdinger. <laughs> okay, you've placed one joker and four aces with different switches suits face down on the table. Use the hints below to determine the position for each card. The club is immediate is to the immediate right of the heart. So the heart is not the furthest right. Neither the diamond nor the joker is next to the spade. Okay. Neither the joker nor the diamond is next to the club. Oh. Okay. I'm thinking here. And then it says the club is the immediate right of the heart. Um, the joker nor the diamond is. Okay. And then it says, neither the diamond nor the spade is next to the heart, which would leave the joker there, the diamond there, and the spade there. Yes. There we go. Correct. Another puzzle solved. Excellent. Only a strong grasp of the principles of logic can get you through a puzzle like this. Hehehe. <laughs> oh yes, that's the answer. All right. Well then, I guess I'll be off. Come visit me sometime. Yeah, ma'am. I guess she followed us in here. Oh. Yeah, we got a um. We got one in there. Oh wow, look at that. We're like getting up near the top. Kind of. Floor six. Just like I thought, there's another puzzle block in the story. It looks really difficult, Professor. Look, my boy, haven't you learned by now? No puzzle is without an answer. Now we simply need to find that answer. Here, allow me. <laughs> three, 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 three. Okay. 
um, use each of the numbers 1 through 9 exactly once to fill in the blanks and complete this equation. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, minus 0, 0, 0, 0, equals 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. Oh. Um... Okay, I think it's a 4 there. And... Okay, um, let's go with one. We don't want it. I know, eight. I'm just chucking numbers up here and seeing how it goes. Yeah, we've got six. We can do six and three. Um, then if we have two. Uh, okay, three, three, um, take that one, twelve, three, ten, three, okay, yep, submit, that works. Luke, here's my answer. I was just messing around, putting numbers down and seeing how it works. Every puzzle has an answer. Okay. That's right. There are two possible, uh, two correct configurations possible. Did you manage to figure both out, uh, out? Both? No, just one, and it was a fluke. Okay, creativity and persistence, Luke. As long as you have these, no puzzle is beyond your reach. Professor, I was just thinking. Do you remember that picture we found in Lady Dahlia's room? The one of the Baron's late wife, Violet, holding a child who appears to be the young Flora. Of course. That's the one. It's uncanny how much Lady Violet, Li Violet looked like Lady Dahlia. Do you suppose Baron Reynolds' journal entries are talking about Lady Dahlia? Stop thinking, my boy. I believe it was something like this. The craftsmanship of it is simply remarkable. It reminds me of my sweet Violet when she was alive. That's the one that tipped me off. Professor, do you suppose Lady Dahlia is actually a robot built to resemble Lady Violet? That's entirely possible, even maybe even horrible given the circumstances. But if so, what a terribly sad story this, these entries tell. Do you remember what the next entry said? Flora doesn't like the thing at all. I've seen her run away from it on multiple occasions. Recently, she spends more time playing by dear Violet's grave than anywhere else. It's sad to, I'm sad to say, but I doubt Flora will ever take to it. I can't blame her, as I've changed its memory. I felt terrible forcing that change on Flora, but I just couldn't bear to see it like that anymore. Violet, there can never be another. You are my first, my last, and my only. The Baron arranged for the construction of a robot for Flora that was identical to his late wife. But living with a machine that was so similar to his wife must have been too difficult for him. Thus, he decided to change the robot's personality, and so Lady Dahlia was created. As she was originally created as a mother figure, she must have gone through a confusing transition. Hmm. Professor, do you suppose these robots feel sadness? Honestly, I'm not quite sure. But I have a feeling that each of these robots has something not unlike a human heart. What do you think? I... I hope they do. Yeah, Lady Dahlia solved. Okay, we got our hint coin. Let's go to the next part. Do you suppose we're near the top yet? 
Yes, but it seems that we have another puzzle in the way before we get there. Seven squares. Your task is to draw lines between the pins on the board to form seven squares. The seven squares do not have to be uniform in size, but you can only use each pin once. Already then, give it a shot. Hmm. I don't know why there's different colors. Like, do we have to use different colors? I mean, I, I prefer to use blue. Just, I'm just grabbing them as I see them. Not a hundred percent sure I'm seeing right. Um, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. There we go. Submit. Look, here's my answer. Yay! Every puzzle has an answer. That's right. Tracking down all this tilted squares so was pretty fun, right? Now we're free to keep climbing. You know, it's very odd how this tower is simply huge. And yet, there's almost nothing inside of it. Yes, quite. Other than Bruno's room in the basement, the whole place is rather bare. Perhaps that is why Bruno's machines make such a racket. This tower is like a great megaphone. But why would anyone want to construct such a big purposeless tower, Professor? It's exhausting to climb this thing. Ha, huh, did you ever consider that this tower might have been built for the express purpose of exhausting us. This is just another one of the trials, uh, many trials that have been set out for seekers of the golden apple. Gosh, that makes perfect sense. Maybe that's also why the tower looks so scary on the outside. Yay, we got a hint coin. Let's go to the next part. This floor doesn't appear to have any puzzles set up for us. So if we climb the spiral staircase, maybe we'll reach the top floor. I think you may be right, my boy. Come, let's hurry. Yay, we got a hint coin. Okay, up we go. Oh my gosh! Aww. Our view was obscured from the ground, but who could have who would have suspected a charming cottage like this here? Look, the lights are on. Look, the lights are on, Professor. It would appear that someone is living here. Oh, we've uh, finished the tower secret. I kind of feel like we still have a bit more to do. Okay. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this is like the, the last chapter.
You've reached the top of the tower, continue into the house, return to the village to explore more. Um... Well, I kind of feel like the the last couple of puzzles we've missed them, because some disappear. So let's just continue into the house. What kind of person would live in a place like this? Unbelievable, just look at this room. This stuff in here has to be worth gazillions. This must be the top floor that Bruno spoke of. So we might be standing in the same room as the golden apple at this very moment. I've been waiting for you two. It, it's you! you see here is the golden apple herself. You're the golden apple? Professor, you knew about this? I had an inkling. Don't you see how genius it is though? The, bar the Baron didn't write the fortune. Um, the Baron didn't write the will to, the to find a successor to his fortune. His true aim was to find a worthy guardian for his daughter, and he was willing to put his whole fortune on the line to do so. Yes. My name is Flora. I've been waiting here in the tower for so long. Were you locked up in here the whole time? Oh no, but before Papa passed, he told me I should wait here until someone from outside St. Mysterio came for me. Papa said that whoever came for me would be someone I could trust with my life. So that's why you kept watching us move about town. What was that? What's going, What's on? going on? Oh. Hmm? oh. Cutscene. Oops. The tower rumbling. Follow me, we must evacuate this tower immediately. What now? What are we going to do? I've got it. Just wait a moment, Flora. What he's making. Clever, clever.
Simon. Thank goodness you're alright, Professor. Don Paolo's flame contraption was something else. I really thought we were done for back there. Yes, it was all quite dodgy, but he also provided us with the answer to one of our ongoing mysteries. Do you remember that awful noise we heard the first time we visited Reinhold Manor? The one that spit Cordia? So that must have been the noise. You've put it together. The racket was likely Don Paolo's contraption making a crash landing. If that's the case, then we now know the approximate time of Don Paolo's entrance into St. Mysterio. That makes perfect sense. It figures then that Franco wouldn't have noticed Don Paolo's entrance. So if Flora is the golden apple that everyone's been looking for, that means the treasure that Lady Dahlia and the others were chasing never existed in the first place. No, I'm fairly certain they weren't mistaken. I do believe a fortune is hidden somewhere within this town. But the Baron would need to hide it somewhere only the Golden Apple would know to look. You mean that Flora knows where the treasure is hidden? I'm sorry, but I don't know about a treasure or anything like that. Let's head back to Reinhold Manor one more time. I suspect we'll clear everything up there. So we've only got one more to do. Professor, do you really think the treasure could be located here? Look closely at this painting, Luke. I'm sure it holds the key to the Reinhold fortune. But I've already looked at it. If we solve this mystery, Luke, I'm certain we'll come face to face with Reinhold treasure. Touch a painting where the golden apple is hidden. Um here I remember now it's right here aha a hidden switch the switch seems to have activated the wall And to think that Reinhold Manor held the secret behind this painting all along. And it looks like there's a passage that leads farther in. Oh. Let's see where this passage goes. Wow, look at all that gold. Oh my goodness, look at this place. I had no idea. Now, how in the world did you know that the switch hat was hidden in the painting? Listen closely, Luke. Wisdom wasn't the only thing Baron Reinhold required of potential guardians for his only daughter. You saw it too, did you not? That per peculiar mark on her neck that only appeared when she laughed? In other words, Baron Reinhold set out one last requirement for the potential inheritor to his fortune. He wanted someone who could make Flora smile again after losing those dear to her. To that person and that person only would Baron Reinhold reveal the location of his actual fortune. That's unbelievable, Professor, but it all makes sense now. Flora, my little Flora. Where's that voice coming from? Flora, you've made it here at last. That voice, Papa, is that you? Papa? 
My dear Flora, has the village watched over you as I would have? I built same as dear for you, so you would never have to know true loneliness. Well, to be fair, Bruno did the actual building, but that's beside the point. In any case, if you come this far, I suppose it's safe to assume my plan was a success. My greatest regret is that I'm not there to see you become a young woman. And please know that I want nothing more than for you to be happy. Whether the person by your side right now can give you that or not is up to you, I suppose. And to you who have found your way to my daughter's side, you have my heartiest congratulations. If you could have made it through the barrage of puzzles I set before you, I imagine a person of your abilities is already called on, but allow me to reveal St. Mysterious' secret. The secret of St. Mysterious? Recently, I was told by my physician that I don't have much time left on this earth. I can come to terms with dying, but the thought of leaving my only child alone in the world torments me. This is why I've commissioned Bruno to construct St. Mysterious. At least this way, she'll be safe enough. She'll be safe and protected until she's old enough to venture to the outside world. Streets and buildings are the bones of a village, but it has a heart. But its heart is the people who live in it. That is why I asked Bruno to create all the villages here as well as all the puzzles hidden within them. I've asked Matthew to make news of my death public only once Flora has grown past childhood. So stranger, how does my beautiful little flower look now? I imagine she is blossoming into adulthood. Equally important to me is finding someone to whom I can entrust both my daughter and my fortune. This is why the inhabitants of St. Mysteria are constantly testing the knowledge of the visitor. If you made it this far, it means that you possess both the wisdom both wisdom and dedication of my daughter. I am confident that you will take good care of my fortune and flora. That is why everything in this room, the whole of my fortune, belongs to you now. When you remove it from here, St. Mysterio will complete the objective from which it was created. I imagine the inhabitants will fall into a deep sleep from which they will never, they are never to awaken. Now wait just a minute, is he saying that if we take the treasure, all of St. Mysterio will just disappear? I honestly don't know the answer to that, Luke. It's, but it's possible that St. Mysterio is designed to shut down the instant we lay hand on the treasure. So if that happens, everyone will just stop? Just like puppets with their strings cut? I leave it to you, brave traveller. Draw the curtain on St. Mysterio and lay this lifeless village to rest. Above all else, I will take care of my precious daughter. She's in your hands now. Oh, Papa. I can't believe it. If we even touch this treasure, all of St. Mysterio will just grind to a halt. Flora, by right, this inheritance belongs to you. You should be the one to decide what's done with it. I... I don't want it. But why ever not, my dear? The people who live here have been with me for so long. Curious as this village is, it's watched me grow up. I won't say, Miss dear, my village to stay just as it is forever. I see. Then so shall it be. I miss the rest of that. I, I... We solved the last unsolved mystery. Are you sure this is quite all right, madam? Certainly. If leaving will make Flora happy, I'd like nothing more than to see her off with a smile. The whole town came out.
What an astonishing village that was, Professor Layton. Does this mean you'll be gracing the front page of the London Times again sometime soon? No, Luke. St. Mustel's secret must stay between us. Huh? Why do you say that? You'll see, my dear boy. We don't want people to make a spectacle of Flora. That wouldn't be right. Of course. Always thinking of others. <laughs> well, one must always put a lady's needs first. That's what a gentleman does. <laughs> Okay, so that is the end of that quest. Uh, end of that quest. End of end of that game. We finished. We didn't quite make the whole 120 puzzles, but with less than five uh, that we didn't get, I'm happy with how far I got. I really am. <laughs> so we're gonna leave this on. Um, but if you did make it this far and enjoyed the video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Feel free to leave a comment as I do read each and every single one. I hope you're having a wonderful time soon wherever you are in the world. And I'm just going to leave the rest of these credits on. I'm loving the artwork by the way. But next week, next week will be um, uh, Professor Layton and uh, I think Pandora's Box. Um, I know there's another name for it, but I think it, I think that one's the second one. I'm just looking at which you will link with the mask on. Anyway, I am leaving the rest of these credits on, but I will see you all in the next video. Okay. Bye!